we have a great levee and a lot of people that put a lot of work into that down there to, to, to maintain it and keep it out. So I'm telling the people, it, you know, if you want to line up and, and, and do some of these patrols, because they're going to start, they've been reactivated, and they'll be back there until that river gets back down to a manageable stage. See, you got to watch for what it's called. Does everybody know what a boil is, a sand boil? Because on the inside of the levee, the water will kind of wake its way, and, it, and you, you got to watch for that. And that's what these folks are doing, because if you let something like that go, it gets worse, it gets worse, and it gets worse. So and it's no need to scare anything, anybody, but that happens. I know in the lower levee down there, they've been fighting a, a, a sand boil down there for a long time, you know, and they manage it. So anybody out there want to volunteer, if you want if you want to know, learn a little bit more about it, like Norm and Vern, those guys will give you quite an education. Mm -hmm. And they're up there at the, at the, up in the park, in the park building, and you'll get a good education. He could take you out there on his cart and show you what he's looking for. And, uh, and anybody that wants to, to walk a patrol, they're, they're setting up patrols at four hour increments. And they, they walk that levee. And they don't just walk, drive down, they walk. I mean, and that levee is 3.1 miles long. So they, they're out looking day and night for problems. It's 24 have. hours. Yeah, it's 24 hours. So, and even if you even if you don't want to be a part of that, you don't have to be. But but go down there and encourage them. Just tell them, hey, thank you, thank you for doing what you do because it's all volunteers and a lot of volunteers, a lot of citizens do that. You know, I, county, it's just incredible. County people too come. Yeah, in. absolutely, absolutely. So, just want to state that.